Carlos Vega is a former gang member who served 14 years in prison. Since he turned his life around, he's been on a mission to stop other young people from going down the same path. Vega is an intervention navigator for Build Chicago, the nonprofit based on the west side, focuses on high-risk youth. Vega says money is fueling the gang violence in the city. When I talk to them, right, when you see them, uh, they have a certain mindset. They're, they want to be hustlers. They want to make that money. And the way they're making that money is being on the block. So when you're on the block, you have to have weapons to be, you know, to secure yourself. Vega says the way police and elected officials have attempted to tackle gang violence in the city hasn't worked. He says the city can't arrest their way out of this problem. Vega says mentorship is key. Our approach is, you know, we work with them where they're at. We try to change their mentality, right? We try to teach them that they can work. If you want to hustle, hustle a jobs, right? Work two jobs. Vega says the mayor's plan to sue gang members to take their property doesn't address the underlying conditions that lead young people to gangs. You're going to make it worse for him instead of reaching out and helping them, right? And trying to, you know, get them off that lifestyle, trying to teach them something different. Vega has worked with gang members as young as nine years old, but typically he says many join at around 12 or 13, and many are from low-income families. He says he has helped countless teens get out of gangs and become productive members of the community. He sees himself in them, and they see themselves in him. And I tell him, look, if I'm working, I went to prison, spent 14 years of my life in prison, right? You guys haven't been to prison yet. Think about it. You can be successful if you complete your high school, go to college, go to trade school. Will Jones, ABC7 Eyewitness News.